Private Eye, Hank Nolan, pulled the brim of his hat down over his eyes. Walk straight into a lamppost. <laughs> Do you mind? Writing isn't easy, you know, and it doesn't get any easier. It's like wading through treacle. Sure it is. <sighs> Walkies? Off you go, then. <laughs> Stop now! You'll be careful. All right, then. Oh, come back. Come back a yard. Try it again. You like it down there, don't you? <laughs> Thought you did. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop playing with that stupid panda? <laughs> Come it down. You'll be sick all over your pants. <laughs> I'm trying to write a suspense play. You should be able to rattle it off in seconds on that new electric typewriter. <laughs> Don't be sarcastic. That's a good typewriter, that is. It's a portable. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I'll write any more tonight. No? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might write a bit more. <laughs> Don't keep staring at me like that with that silly grin on your face. Can't you find something to do? I've hung some nuts out in the garden for our little wild creatures. So, I mean, if you can't reach, give us a shout and I'll get you a box. box. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, what's that on your arm? Wuthering Heights. I get that scene to it, could turn nasty. <laughs> it's a novel by Emily Bronte. Is it? Yeah. Ah, lovely. She was a great writer, you know, Emily Bronte. Yeah. Her father was a vicar. A vicar. Mm, he had six children. Funny about vicars. Yeah. Oh, when they have children, they always seem to have them in sixes. <laughs> Why in sixes? Well, they're always working Sundays. <laughs> Very clever family, the Brontes. Oh, yeah. I wonder why it is that all us great writers seem to come from the same part of the world. Well, we've produced our share of all-time greats around Morecambe and District. Oh, I'm sure you have. We have. Name one. Ozzy Stringer. <laughs> Ozzy Stringer? Ozzy Stringer. He was only four years running the Morecambe and District all come a spoon and washboard champion. Spoon and Washboard oh, Champions? Yes. In the 1948 Spoon and Washboard Champions of mm. Bellevue, he broke his arm in three places. Did he? Playing the spoons and anchors away. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and broke his arm, three Did places. Did oh, soup spoons up and down his legs. Yeah? Soup spoons. And if you miss me one of those, that can be painful. <laughs> Emily Bronte's father couldn't have done that. Well, I doubt it. Six kids, he wouldn't have the strength to lift the spoon. <laughs> Comic man, you. I think I'll read my other book. I'll move up. Who's the book by? D.H. Lawrence. You know what it's about? Men and women kissing. And? I don't know, I haven't read the book. Well, don't read page 102. <laughs> don't read it! <sighs> Good God. There you are. Now say it out loud now for penance. Go on. Oh, I couldn't loud. say it! Say it out loud! Bosom. There you are, you see. <laughs> There's a crack just appeared in the ceiling. Well, how did I know it was a book by Because it's by D.H. Lawrence. You know what the D.H. stands for? No, what? Dirty hardbacks. <laughs> I'll have to phone your mother now. Oh, don't phone my mother. Well, all right. Anyway, she won't be in. She'll be the wrestling. <laughs> she won last week. <laughs> Move up. Oh. Well, what can I write about now? Write the Aussie Stringer story. I've never heard of Aussie Stringer. How can I write about well, it? Well, write about our early days of variety. That's always good. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, some of the all-time greats. Yeah, and some of the oldest performers in the business. Oh. Des O'Connor? Yeah. <laughs> There's one older than him now. Not, uh... Max Bygraves. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> we worked with some great novelty acts. You remember that one? What? The Mighty Cuthbert. Oh, the human cannonball. He was good. Yeah. Straight through the stage door he went, open mm. or closed. That's Straight right. Straight through. We worked with him, where was it? At Brighton, Chiswick, Birmingham, Newcastle and Glasgow. All in one night. <laughs> the great Charles. The great Charles. 
and his educated parrot. And it was as well. Mm -hmm. It got more money than he did. <laughs> <laughs> the two Nellies. She's married now. Is she really? Yeah. <laughs> but triplets, all of them. I could write about some of those early shows we worked with, those nude reviews. Well, lovely girls. All those pretty girls to oh. call their clothes off. Just to bring the colour back to my cheeks, that didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say something for those, those girls. They were very respectable, Of course you know? they were. Of course they were. Yeah. They were always in bed before 12 o'clock. And back home by half past six. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? <laughs> How is it? Every time I say half past six, you ring. <laughs> There must be somebody at the door. Well, I'll have a look. Right, where is it? Oh, yes, it's over there. <coughs> Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you, Vic? What can I do for you, Vicar? Well, now, you might just be able to help me. You mm -hmm. see, uh, all morning I've been in a quandary. Ah, I'm thinking of buying one of those foreign cars. <laughs> No, no, you don't quite understand. What? You see, I am your new vicar, yeah. and I'm trying to organise the church jumble sale for next Saturday. Now, have you anything lying around that's old that you don't want? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid we haven't got anything. It's all spoken for, sir. Mm, dear, what a pity. Yes. We're very short of people, you see. Ah, yes. Yes. What I really need is somebody to go around and collect the jumble. Now, do you think you could help? <laughs> of course he'll help. Of course you will. Oh, I'll help. I'll we'll help. Do anything for him up there. Oh, well, now that's very, very kind of you. Now, what can we do for you? Well, then? I tell you what, I'm looking again in the morning, mm -hmm. and then I'll be able to explain it to you. Right. Mr. Uh, Wise. I uh, was. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I know you are. I know I am. Him! Oh, Morecambe. Oh, Morecambe. I'm mm. sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, my name's Stringer. Stringer. Oswald Stringer. <laughs> See? Just a moment, the 1948 Morecambe and District Spoon and Washmore Champion! Well, Joe, that's going back a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Do you remember me? Who can forget the greatest? Mm. Stay there, tell him! D tell him! He's been talking about Has you! He really? Yes, he wants me to write a story about oh, you. Oh, well, well, Do sit down! Fozzie, oh, make it talk! Yes, yes. Right. Two, three, four! Oh. All things bright and beautiful! <laughs> It's been a great pleasure. Lovely. Enjoy. A great pleasure working with you, Vic. I'm enjoying yeah. it very much indeed. Bless you. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. Take care. Well, I'll see you at the bus stop then. Yeah. Yeah, OK. Fine. Yeah. Bye-bye. You're off? Hey, mm. you've heard? Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're not, uh, you're not going to do anything together. I'm not going to do anything. Look at him, yeah, dressed like that and everything. No. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, well, I'll away then. Yeah. See you right. at the bus stop. All right. OK. Get a taxi. I'll get you a taxi. I'll take carriage. Fine. Yeah. All right. See you. All right. Yeah. Fine. Fine. How's he going? Yes. OK, now we can do the Bring Me Sunshine number. Oh. Yeah. Great. Yes. Yes. Did you? Did you bring your drums? Oh, I'm sorry, any night. You didn't bring them? No. Oh, what a shame. Would you open the curtains, please? There you are. Oh, we're there. Okay. Oh, right. I'll give you four in. Four in. We'll bring me some. Here we right. go. A one, two, three. Bring me some. In your spot. Bring me where. All the while. 